So far, seven outbreaks of coronavirus have been confirmed globally. As late as December 2019, humans have encountered a new coronavirus that has never been found in humans' body. Our knowledge of this virus is still sketchy. It has been named SARS-CoV-2. Home to eight Nobel Prize laureates, Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory is known as the birthplace of molecular biology. Dr. John Olson is a scientist at CSHL. In December 2019, he was teaching courses in Suzhou, China. Confronted with COVID-19, Dr. John Olson chose to stay. Like initially, I saw lots of things calling it the Wuhan virus. I am really not in favor of that, right? Because this, these viruses can come from anywhere. Coronaviruses are in bat species around the world. My name is John Olson, and I'm the Education Director here at Cold Spring Harbor Asia DNA Learning Center. One of the things that was very surprising and amazing to me was how fast the virus was identified and sequenced. And if you look at a virus like HIV, it was years before the virus was identified. And here it was about 10 days from the time that people started getting sick to we had the actual DNA sequence of the virus. And then once it's identified and sequenced, um, we can move forward very quickly in our understanding. I think they have been open and and transparent. I think a lot of the problem in the beginning was there just wasn't the, the ability to, to confirm if a person is or is not positive for this novel coronavirus because there are other cold viruses out there and the influenza virus which can give similar symptoms early on and so there was a sort of a bottleneck of the number of technicians that can do the testing and then also the, the kits to be, able, to be able to do the testing. And so it, it took time to start to get reliable numbers, but those numbers were being updated every day. And I think the information has been you know, clear and, and accurate as it can be. Chinese scientists quickly released the genetic sequence information of COVID-19, and scientists across the globe began to work at full speed to develop vaccines and drugs to deal with it. But the spread of rumors was much faster than that of drug development. The most appalling rumors even said that COVID-19 came from the laboratory. Anytime there's an outbreak, there's going to be a lot of conspiracy theories and misinformation. It's unfortunate that some US lawmakers actually succumb to this misinformation and spread these rumors. They are not true. So my name is Dr. Amish Adalja. I'm an infectious disease, critical care, and emergency medicine physician. I'm from the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area, and I work at the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security as a senior scholar. This is an animal origin virus that, that made its way into humans. There's no evidence that this was, this was a manufactured virus. We don't believe that this is a lab accident or a deliberate release from that laboratory. It's important the laboratories are kept safe and we worry about that, but there's no evidence that this is uh, the case and it's not something that's widely accepted or thought about by the scientific community in the United States. Will humans win the battle against COVID-19? Amar Ibadani, a 41-year-old man from Yemen, is a doctor in Chojo Hospital in Zhejiang province of China. As a senior doctor who has been practicing for nearly 20 years, Amar Ibadani has been paid close attention to the outbreak. Actually, this battle is uh, China and Chinese people are winning it for us, for the whole world. I am Amar Al-Badani, I'm from Yemen. This is in the ordinary time. And when it comes to the outbreak of an epidemic, I think doctors feel much more responsibility to do something in this battle. This is our battle. That's why I decided not to take any vacation. 
during this outbreak. Actually, you are safer in China during this outbreak. You're going to your, to your country, and I believe there is no uh, country such as China can defeat this coronavirus. And yes, all these guys, they have been uh, feeling grateful to me during that advice because they have actually witnessed and till today they are really seeing how uh, the numbers of the confirmed cases are decreasing. In, in EU, for example, uh, we have like even uh, more than two weeks with zero confirmed cases, which means that we are fighting uh, the, the COVID-19 in a very successful way. I have heard a lot of uh, rumors in the social media, especially in the Facebook and Twitter, talking about the medical staff being forced to go to Wuhan and Hubei to fight against this uh, COVID-19. That's not true to tell you, my friends. I have seen a lot of uh, competition between the colleagues the people really want to be first going there. People really volunteered and people really sacrificed. They have done a lot. They have lived their families.